Port Moresby-based PMSA and Simbu kicked off the day's proceedings at the PNGFA Academy in Leh. PMSA fails to register points after some smart ball play. The momentum of the game swayed back and forth with both teams eager to get on the scoreboard. But at halftime, PMSA held their head up high with one point. The Port Mosby side started the second half with much enthusiasm. Immediately producing results, PMSA's productive ability were found wanting near the Simbu goalmouth, looking more agile. However, shots fired seemed to lack velocity and power. On the other side, weight seemed to be a disadvantage to the Simbu girls, and PMSA used that to their advantage, with Gloria Lyle breaking through Simbu's defense and scoring. Yeah! Ability was key to PMSA's attack and defense, with substitute Georgina Colden producing immediate results coming off the bench. That would see PMSA crown queens of Besta Cup women's competition. The men's clash, Hoods Lagoon scored the first goal through a penalty to get them off the mark. However, both sides match with skills, but height was in Morobe Football Association's favor and it soon paid off. Both sides desperate to score after the equalizer. Hoods would keep the Morobeans busy with several close calls on goal. Morobe replied with some quick transition and footwork in the middle area causing havoc on their opponents. That eventually scored their second to lead by two goals to Hood's one at half-time. The second half got off on a slow pace, with both sides showing signs of fatigue. Both teams had chances at goal, then a daring run by Laka Wallow, so the gamble paid off for Hood's, tying the match at 2-all. But the Morbians had the last say. Let's silence the Hood supporters with the final goal to win the match by three goals to two. Shane Saroya, National MTV Sports.